Hi, good morning everyone. Just wanna share this video about netiquette. Kung ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin ng netiquette, no? Because as I observe nowadays, more people spend time online and technology advances, no? So, lalong-lalong sa mga kabataan ngayon, it is more important to be aware of how we are interacting online. Kaya mahalaga ipo to sa mga kabataan or sa mga baguhan pa lamang sa mundo ng internet, no? So, sa video ng ito, guys, tinatalakay dito yung mga rules and guidelines sa paggamit ng internet, no? Kaya simula na natin sa unang essentials ng netiquette or yung rules and guidelines. Una, guys, ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin ng netiquette or what does netiquette means? It is the word coin from the words internet and etiquette. So, it means simply a set of rules and guidelines meant for proper behavior on the internet. First one, there is no another human being on the other side of the internet. The internet is a new media of communication and expressions. The way we respect when we communicate with friends, relatives, and other people face-to-face -face should not be any different when we post our messages and responses online. Next. Review your message and correct mistakes before you click send. You will meet a lot of people online, but many of them will not meet a new person. You judge and assess people that you see face to face by their face or race, their weight, their age, their nose, their eyes, and many other things that you see. But online, you will be evaluated and judged by the way you express yourself in writing. Be legal and ethical always on the internet. Spoken words are gone, but something you have written will be stored somewhere which could be used against you in the future. Documents, image, and other on the internet are works of other people. If you intend to use them for your personal needs, make sure to obtain written permission from the original creator. Image, music, videos, and programs you take from the internet should be paid for. It is a matter of searching where you could get it for the best price or even for free. Help the newbie. The internet is a great source of knowledge, social networking, entertainment, shopping, and many others. Before you become an expert user, you first a newbie person who just started to use and explore the vastness of cyberspace, adults who grew up without the convenience of growing up with computers, people with disability, and first-timers need our help to get them started on the internet. Sometimes, all they need to know are the icons to click and programs to open. So let us assist and help them and be patient with them. Share your knowledge. The World Wide Web works beautifully because your questions can be viewed and answered by many. In fact, many of our questions have already been answered by experts and knowledgeable people, and they are available for our taking. And if you can share your expertise to a topic being discussed or asked, do not hesitate to share your views. Remember, the internet is started because some scientists would like to share and discuss their expertise with others around the world. Respect your knowledge. Respect others' people's privacy. If you receive a letter delivered by the postman addressed to someone else, it is not proper for you to open that letter, diba? The same applies on the internet. Messages and emails not intended for you but have access it should not be read. Respect the disability of other people. There are internet users that have disabilities such as hearing, hearing difficulty, blind, no hands, limited mobility, and others. They do have the right to be in cyberspace. You should be sensitive to their difficulty. Respect other people's opinion and belief. People do not have the same preferences or opinion on a lot of things such as you do. We do not believe in all things to create a harmonious online community. The key is the respect in what they believe 
so that you will also become comfortable that they will respect your personal preferences. Be sensitive to others' emotions and culture. Be aware of the sensitive of others on the internet. They may have a recent tragedy, difficulty, or situations. Help them cope with their situations. You may also be more knowledgeable than others. This does not give you the right to abuse or take advantage of anyone. If you are a cyber expert and system administrator in a discussions group or blog spot, be always helpful to a newbie. Instead of humiliating their lack of know-how, email, blog, ad, other internet posting go beyond the boundaries of your own country and reaches people of different culture and beliefs. It is a good practice to learn some of the basic communication cultures of the other nations. Keep flame wars under control. Internet flaming is an expression of hostility, anger, correction, and opposing opinion to a particular topic or messages that one feels strongly about. Flaming usually occurs in a discussions groups, sharing communities, and blog spots. Flaming becomes ugly if two or more persons exchange a series of angry messages for a time which can destroy the peace and purpose of the group. Forgive and correct properly. People who go online may not have the writing skills and cannot express themselves clearly compared to others. Some people ask stupid questions, constantly make grammatical and spelling mistakes, bad online manners, and other annoying inconveniences that you might feel against some persons. If correction may also apply for grammatical and spelling mistakes or if the person is already hurting someone or the group by the messages he or she is posting, a private message of correction rather than in public should be the proper approach but be aware that a violent reaction from the person may erupt. Value other people's time Send short and direct answers to questions or discussions that you are participating into. When sending a message to other people, do not nag them to answer you quickly. They may not have the convenience of an internet at home, so they only open their internet once in a while. Avoid sending unnecessary large files for this will take time to download. Some users have slower internet connection. Be sensitive to whom you share carbon copies. Send them only to the right person. Netiquette in sending messages and post. Netiquette in sending involves messages by email and posting messages in chat, blogs, and forums. Be, br be brief and concise. Reading long messages takes time and considerable effort. And if you receive many of them, most likely you would not be able to read them all. If you send a communication, make sure it is short and concise so that people at the receiving end will be able to grasp and respond if you're necessary to your message. There are acceptable abbreviations you can use for email and postings and some of the more popular are follows. BTW, by the way, LOL, laughing out loud, loud or laugh out loud, BRB, be right back, AFK, away from keyboard, IMHO, in my humble opinion, ROTFL, rolling on the floor laughing. Do not send messages in all capital letters. Capital letters denotes shouting when you use on the internet. So use the combination of capital and small letters just like what you're taught in your English classes to avoid any negative feedback from anyone. Study shows that it is easier and faster to read a combination of capital and small letters than typing them in all capital or small letters. In short, do not type and send all capital letter or small letters, especially in email and long messages. Instead, use a combination of both. Focus on the subject or topic. A discussion group 
email community and news group may be discussing a certain topic wherein there is a series of exchanges about a particular subject. It would be inappropriate to post a subject that is way of the current discussion. Posting a message that is very much way out of the present messages exchanges is called trolling. Be sensitive to tone of your message. There are acceptable icons and smiley, also known as emoticons, which convey emotions, humor, and personality to a message. Many online chat and email programs have emoticons that you can click to include in your message. Otherwise, you can create them as well using characters in your keyboard. You may use them to express emotions. Some of the most popular are as follows. Flaming should be avoided. Avoid sending, posting, insulting, and angry words on the internet. Your message can become the start of a flame war, which is always destructed to any internet group that usually strive and exist to encourage cooperation and peaceful discussion. Make your subject line reflect the whole message. Fill up the subject area provided in your communications. This will prompt the reader what your message is all about. This will help them decide whether to open and read your message or not, whether it is for them or for others. Use descriptive words so it would be clear what your agenda or agenda is all about. Thank you.